Okay, here's a really cool thing you can do with your uh, counting rods. So let's do 10 take away 7. So what, what will fill in this gap? A 3. So, so 10 take away 7 is 3. Here's another problem you can do with your uh, counting rods. If you see my, if you haven't seen my first, you might as well when I go back there. It would be, it's kind of cool. So we're gonna do ten take away six. So we know that equals four. So ten take away six is four. Here's another one. We are gonna do ten take away three. So you know it will probably equal seven. And if you think that, you are definitely right. Because seven fills in that gap. So ten take away three is seven. Here's another cool one that we are about to do right now. Right now. Literally. Okay. So we are gonna do ten minus eight. Take a second and think about it. What fills in this gap? Okay, I think I had enough time to think about it now. If you think two, you're definitely right. Fills in the gap for two. Here's a trick that you would like. Mm. Instead of having to go like that every time. So you can do, we're gonna do 10 minus eight. It equals two. Another cool one we're about to do, 10 minus four. So what would fill in this gap? It'll give you a little bit of time to think about it. If you thought six, get over here. You're definitely right. 10 minus four is six. Thank you, bye-bye.